Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Convivio Center. It's nice to see you all. Give yourself a big round of applause. And welcome to Rick Henry's Nightcap Cabaret. We're here at the second Friday of every month with great cabaret music for you. Tonight we have a spectacular lineup. We have the wonderful Carmen Lynn Neal. Let me tell you, she's so wonderful that you're going to think she's to be people. That's how talented she is. Carmen Lynn Neal. Did you see that on Broadway? Yeah. Carmen Lynn Neal. To start out the evening, we have our musical director over here, Mr. Rick James. Give him a big round of applause. Thank you all for being here tonight. I want 
to thank Rick Henry for giving me this opportunity. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I want to thank the other Rick, Rick James, my pianist tonight, who, as you can tell, is fabulous. He has this affinity, this feeling for this music, and that's why I chose him. Because tonight I'm going to sing the music by Cole Porter and Irving Berlin. Uh, these songs were written, and these two composers are absolutely great. Uh, Cole Porter and Irving Berlin were born at the end of the 19th century. Uh, Cole Porter in 1891, and Berlin in 1888. It seems impossible, but that's, that's it. <laughs> Both were brilliant composers and they wrote their own lyrics, which is no easy task. Uh, they both achieved success around the same time, at the end of the 1920s. But they couldn't have more different backgrounds. Uh, Porter was born in Peru, Indiana, to wealth and privilege. They, it was said that his grandfather was the richest man in Indiana. He was an only child, and he studied music from a very early age. By the time he was six, he could play the violin and the piano. Uh, his grandfather, his maternal grandfather, had a lot to do with his upbringing. His father was kind of detached. He didn't really inter intervene in his, in his upbringing. Um, but his mother supported him 100%. So he was sent to the best schools. He attended Yale and Harvard. His grand grandfather wanted him to go to law school at Harvard, but Porter was not cut out to go to law school. So um, he went to music instead, and he studied composition and counterpoint, harmony, and all those beautiful things. Irving Berlin was born Israel Isidore Berlin, and he was a Russian Jewish immigrant. He arrived in the States when he was five, and he was one of seven siblings. So his father really had a hard time finding a good job to sustain his family. So Irving, little Irving, when he was eight, he was uh, selling newspaper and singing at three corners for pennies. So he had a tough life. Uh, he had to leave school early because his father died and he, everybody had to pitch in in the family. So uh, he became a singing waiter. And that's where he discovered the piano. He stayed after hours and he started to tinker with the piano and he taught himself how to play. He only learned to play in one key, though. But later on, when he became rich and famous, he had a custom-made piano that had a special lever that allowed him to transpose the music. <clears throat> Porter's songs are urbane, refined, very sophisticated, very witty, sometimes very off-color. But they're always fun, and they're always entertaining. Uh, Berlin was very deceptively simple, but he was straightforward and unaffected. So we take his music like very easily. He goes straight to our heart. Uh, he said that his aim was to reach the heart of the average American, and indeed he did. So their contribution to the great American songbook is undeniable. And it's amazing, as Rick just mentioned, the number of songs that they both wrote was incredible. So um, over the decades, their music has been played and sung by thousands of people. And well, this is, this is a proof that they have withstood the test of time. So to begin, uh, uh, I'm going to relate this to my personal experience. When I was about 18 or 19, I was given the best present that I ever got. My then boyfriend, now my husband Carlos, <laughs> gave me a wonderful album with the songs of Cole Porter. 
It was titled, Ella Fitzgerald Sings, The Cole Porter's Songbook. And it was the best thing I ever got because I was in love with this, with, this, with these two records, uh, two records came in the album. And there were more than 24 songs, I'm sure. And I memorized them, almost every one of them. Some better than others. But uh, I just fell in love with it and it was very significant because he gave it to me. Uh, now with Urban Berlin, it was a little different. I had always dismissed his music as simple, beautiful, but kind of simple. I was not really attracted to it. You know, White Christmas, God bless America. Yes, yeah, very pretty, but okay. And then one day, I was, I was driving home from work, and I heard a gorgeous melody, a beautiful song. I, I had to stop the car to listen. And I, I didn't know where this song was coming from, you know, another land, another... I don't know, it was just haunting. The melody was so beautiful and it was a, a love song, but it was so of, of longing. I, I just had to stop and listen to the announcer identify the, the song. And it turned out that it was by Berlin. So I said to myself, I haven't been listening, I haven't been paying attention. Because if he can write this, he can write many other beautiful things. So, I'm going to start with Cole Porter. This is a song about being in love. I am dejected. I am depressed. Yet resurrected. Sailing the crest Why this elation Mixed with deflation Love 
Thank you. 
I can see the sun up high, though we're caught in the storm. I can see where you and I could be cozy and warm. So let the rain fit a pattern, but it really doesn't matter if the sky is gray. As long as I can be with you, it's a lovely day. Maybe two. 
Porter gives us one, Brendan gives us another. It's the wrong time and the wrong place, though your face is charming. It's the wrong face, it's not his face, but such a charming face that it's all right with me. It's the wrong song in the wrong style. Though your smile is lovely, it's the wrong smile. It's not his smile, but such a lovely smile that it's all right with me. You can. It's the wrong game with the wrong chips. Though your lips are tempting, they're the wrong lips. They're not his lips, but they're such tempting lips that if some night you're free, dear, it's all right. It's all
break through and hold you
invite my friend, Neil Sullivan. Where are you, Neil? Oh, there you are. Neil Sullivan, he's as big as his big talent is. And he's 86 years old. Oh, boy. This guy can sing. He has such a style. I'm just in love with his voice. So, Neil, would you like to sing something with us? If you can handle the competition. So <laughs> <laughs> anyway, because I know that everything I can do, you I can do better. I can do anything better than you. No, you can't. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Anything you can be, we can be greater. Sooner or later, we're greater than you. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. I can shoot a partridge with a single cartridge. I can get a sparrow with a bow and arrow. I can live on ham and cheese. Are you in there? So can a rat. I can go higher. I can sing anything I No, you can't. Yes, I can. Thank you. 
my phone. You can break this case for me. Let love can turn the tide to end despair. But I can't fool this head of mine that thinks for me. And so I've mortgaged all my castles in the air. Oh, I telegraphed and then I wrote I sent a mail special to your answer was goodbye. There was even post in the
Yonder till I see the light. 